Hi, in this lesson, we're going to learn about if statements. In JavaScript, the first main use of Booleans is as a condition of an if statement. An if statement executes the code nest underneath it only if the condition is true. Let's take a look at the syntax. To write an if statement, we write the if keyword in the condition in parentheses. The condition can be a Boolean variable, a function that returns a Boolean, or even a Boolean expression. We follow the condition or Boolean expression with curly braces, and inside the curly braces, we have the code body, which will execute if the condition is true. If the condition is false, it is not executed. Let's take a look at an example. Here, we have a variable named isHeads, and it is assigned the Boolean value of true. We can then input this variable into the condition of our if statement. Our if statement reads, if isHeads is true, print to the console, it's heads, you win. If is heads is false, then the code inside of the if statement won't run and nothing will happen. We can also include an else portion to our if statement if we want to execute some code if the condition is false. To do this, we write the if statement just like we did before. The if keyword, the condition and parentheses followed by the curly braces, and then the code body, which is the code that executes if the condition is true. Then, to add code to be executed when the condition is false, we need to include an else statement. To do this, we write the else keyword, another set of curly braces, and another code body. This code body executes only when the condition is false. We read an if else statement like this. If a condition is true, execute this code. Otherwise, execute this other code. This gives us the ability to program two options, one set of code for if the condition is true, and another set of code for if the condition is false. Let's expand on our previous example. If the isHeads variable is true, then the same statement will print, it's heads you win. However, if it's heads is false, then the code inside of the else code body will run. Now let's head to the editor to explore an example. Here we are in the editor, and we're going to create a program that tells the user whether or not they're logged in. Let's start by creating a variable named logged in. We can then assign this variable a Boolean value of true if they are logged in or false if they are logged out. Let's start by assigning it the value of true. Now let's print the value of our variable to the console. Great, let's write an if else statement that prints a message to the user depending on if they're logged in. So if, and then our condition is the logged in variable, then our curly brackets, and then inside of the curly braces, we'll do a console log so we can print to the console, you are currently logged in. Now let's add an else statement for if the condition is false or if the value of logged in is false. So we'll start by adding the else keyword, the curly braces, and then another console log statement. Let's run this to see what happens. Excellent, because the value of logged in is true, we execute the code in the top portion of our if else statement. But what happens if I change the value of logged in to false and run my program again? Exactly, we'll see that the code inside of the else portion of the if else statement runs. This is because the condition is false. Let's try one last thing. Instead of changing the initial value of logged in, let's say the user logs in later in our program. So now let's assign the value of true to our variable logged in. We can then copy and paste our if else statement and see what happens. Great, our program first prints you are currently logged out because the condition of the first if statement or the value of our logged in variable is false. Then our program prints out you are currently logged in because the condition of the second if statement is true. Now it's your turn to write some programs with if else statements.